So, Carson, tell me about what you've been working on. It sounds like you have a lot of exciting stuff in the works. Yeah, yeah, it's been a, it's been a crazy couple of months. Uh, we have a film that's been going through the film festival circuit for a while now, East Middle West, showing at Chelsea Film Festival on October 17th, which we're really excited about. And we just got into the Newport Film Festival as well, uh, Newport Beach Film Festival, uh, which I think will be October 17th, I believe. Oh, yeah. wow. Congratulations. Tell me Thank a little you. bit about that, the film. Uh, it is it is quite the movie. It, it, it's a slow burning drama about a kid that basically goes on the run after committing some horrible accidents. And uh, he's basically trying to find his way in a town that's basically on the hunt for him after what he does. Uh, and it's all about morality and the definition of freedom and all these crazy themes. And it's quite the ride. It, it's quite the ride. We've been very happy with the reception we've been getting from it so far. And how would you describe your role in the film? I'm the runaway kid. You're the runaway kid, <laughs> yes. Okay. So. Yeah. And he is uh, troubled. He was kind of bullied a lot growing up. And he's like the one kid in town who's, whose dad went to prison for life. And so he's kind of been uh, outlawed for most of his upbringing. And after the accident, he tries to find himself a bit more. And ironically, once he gets away from all of uh, the high school drama that he was surrounded with growing up, that's kind of where he finds more about who he is at his core. And some of it scares him quite a bit. A lot of the things he finds out about himself scare him, but he basically has to come to terms with the things that, uh, that plague him on the inside throughout the course of the film. And what would you say was the biggest challenge about playing that role? Other than dyeing my hair blonde? Um, <laughs> Uh, probably having to, A, get the physicality of him because he's a far cry from who I am as a person. And even when I was doing the audition process for the role, uh, making sure that I, I fit the bill for what they wanted in this, this character. It took a lot of uh, uh, grunt work just in terms of uh, physical body language. But also I think making sure that all of the themes of the film came through in in the performance. Cause that was a huge thing that I talked to the director and writer about. Uh, Makatsu Yorkando was the writer and Brian Luck Anderson was our incredible director. And during the interview process for the role, one of the things they emphasized so much was all the themes and, and topics that they wanted to hit throughout this movie. And so we would spend, we would spend forever before scenes, when the time allowed, just going over what we wanted to hit in each specific instance and working the scenes and finding out how to showcase that and it was a very collaborative process, and I'd say it was the most challenging, but also my favorite part about the whole experience. Nice. And what's one thing you hope people like or take away from watching the film? I hope that they come away from the film with a lot of questions. A lot of questions, and it leads to a lot of discussions, because I think what this film does so well is illustrating so many different views on uh, the topics of what is freedom, what is justice, uh, what is morality. And if people can go away having those conversations, then I think we did our job. Beautiful. What else are you working on? So I finished working earlier this year on a Netflix show called, uh, uh, called Lock, Lock and Key. Yes. Season two of that is coming out soon. I believe it's October 22nd is coming out. I'm very excited. Yes, it's going to yes. be, I can't say too much about my role, unfortunately, but I think that fans of the show are going to be very excited by the turns that it takes. I love it. I love it. I, that show is incredible. And I just like the, all the creativity. It's ingenious. Mm -hmm. It's, it, yeah, it's going to be nuts. Season two is, is going to be nuts. If you're a fan of season one, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I know you can't give too much away about your specific role, but how did you prepare for it? It was quite the quick turnaround in terms of when I figured out that I booked the role and, and getting on set prepping for the role. A lot of it was understanding the, the lore of Lock and Key, all, all of the graphic novels and stuff, doing my due diligence, making sure that I was A, well researched on the show so far, and B, understanding how my character fit the bill of, of the stories that they're trying to tell. And so a lot of it came just with pure research. Uh, specific to me, I always like to throw in 
weird little uh, uh, prep exercises for different roles so that I can tailor them more specifically to who I'm playing. For this one, it wasn't anything crazy. It was more just uh, getting my, my hmm, how do I say this? I don't say this, I don't think. Getting my getting my mouth around the, the way that he speaks, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, okay. You're yeah. making me want to tune in even more now to see what you're talking about. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So anything else on the docket or is this pretty much your baby right now? Preparing for your uh, show and stuff like that? That one is is the soon to be baby. The one that's down the line is I, I also finished working on a Netflix show called uh, Lucky Girl Live which I'm very excited about. That one was uh, fantastic to work on. That was my most recent project. Uh, I finished filming a few months or a couple months ago. Uh, it was an absolute blast to work on that film. Nice. And one thing I like asking people I interview is tell me a fun fact about yourself. Fun fact about me. Um, I am a huge fan of fantasy books. Oh, what's your favorite? Um, what's your favorite series? Oh, that's so hard for me to pick. I have favorite authors. I love Mark Lawrence. I love Brandon Sanderson. I think my favorite series would have to either be the Stormlight Archive or um, I just finished reading The Name of the Wind and that might be it. I have yet to read the sequel book yet, but uh, Patrick Rothfuss is incredible in his way of words that I just, I am in awe of. I got to check those out. I like it. Yeah. Nice. I'm definitely checking this out. What are you watching these days? Anything good on TV that you're watching? I actually just started watching Entourage, which is interesting. I'm a little late to the bill on that one, but I love it. Uh, it's a fantastic show. Um, what else have I been watching? I just started Squid Game. I know I'm behind the curve on it, but I'm sucked in three episodes uh, in so far. I love it. It's fantastic. Um, what else did I recently watch? I just watched a movie called... Uh, words on bathroom walls that I was very impressed with. Ooh, I never heard of that one. I got to check that out. Fantastic movie. I watched it just the other night as I was scrolling to, through Apple TV or something. And I was like, man, that movie was, it's good. I highly recommend. I am definitely checking that one. I'm always looking for another good movie or TV show to check out. Good movie or TV show to check out. Hmm. I just finished catching up. I mean, that one's kind of old. I just finished catching up on Peaky Blinders, which was fantastic. But in terms of new shows or new movies, The Green Knight was awesome. I love that film. Nice. Very yeah. nice. And what would you say was your guilty pleasure TV show or movie? Guilty pleasure TV show or movie. I don't know if it's so much of a guilty pleasure as it's just an obsession. Uh, Love, I mean, Game of Thrones wasn't quite so guilty. I also love the Vampire Diaries growing up. I watched that whole show when I was in high school. That's a good one. Yeah, my actually my best friend, her she got her daughter's middle name from Vampire Diaries. No way. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it's a good, it's a very good show. It's just, mm. I feel like it's one of those cult following shows. You either love it or you hate it or you never watched it at all. I, don't feel, I feel like there's totally, no in yeah. between with it. But that was a, <laughs> that's sure. a definitely a good one. Nice. Mm -hmm. And where can we follow you on social media so we can continue to follow all your incredible adventures? Yeah, for sure. It's my full name, Carson underscore McCormick. Weird spelling, M-A-C-C-O-R-M-A-C -C -C for the last name. But uh, yeah, I'm on there. That's easily where I'm the most active. <laughs> all right. We will send you a follow. Thank you so much for your time today. I truly appreciate you and have a wonderful rest of, course, of your yeah. day. Awesome. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you.